today we're going to talk about how you can set up your Google credentials so that you can start using your the Gmail API with tools like Crew AI. So it's going to be a real quick tutorial on how to enable this. So first, you're going to go to cloud.google.com. I'm going to leave the link and other links in the description. From here on this page, you're going to go ahead and click sign in here. This is where you'll sign in with the Gmail account that you want to use. Once you sign in, you'll be able to see this up here where it says console. So you're going to click in here. Once you go inside console, you're going to go ahead and go to select the project. And from here, this should be blank if you've never used this before. So you're just going to go ahead and click new project. Here you can name your project, whatever it is you'd like. We just call it crude test and then you're going to hit create. As you can see up here, it's loading up everything you need for the project. So once this is ready, we're going to go ahead and click select project. Once you get taken to this big dashboard, all you're going to have to do is go to enable APIs and services right here on this first section. Once you get to this page, you're going to click up here where it says enable APIs and services. This is going to give you a list of all the different APIs that Google has available. So you're going to search for Gmail. Here you're going to select Gmail API. And you're just going to click enable up here. Once this finishes loading, you're going to go ahead and click manage. And in this page, we're going to go ahead and set up your O authentication screen. So it's basically just to set up. I'm sure you've seen this before. Whenever you try to whenever you try to sign into a different application, and it, and it allows you to sign in using Google credentials. This is basically the setup that's going to allow for Crew AI to use that authentication, so that you can use it with the Gmail app. And since right now we're only going to use it with our account, we're going to leave this here blank, and we're going to click Create since it's only going to be internal users. Now here it's asking you for app information, as in the app that is going to be using access through the Gmail API. So because this crew AI, we could just call it crew AI application. And here you do need to put a contact email. So put whatever email you want to use. The rest of the fields are optional, so you don't have to fill them out. And here at the bottom, you do have to add another email address. So once you do that, just click save and continue. And again, click save and continue on this screen. Now here we are going to need a test user because this is an application or a service that we're developing. You do need to provide who is going to have access to this app while you're still working on it. All this means is that only the people or the, or rather the email addresses that you add on here are going to be the ones that are able to use the app while we test it. And all you have to do is when you click add users, just fill in the email addresses that you want to have access to the application. If you want, you can just use the same email address that you signed in with. When you finish adding your account, you see it down here. Then just click save and continue. So now the last thing that you need to set up as well is going to be credentials that your app is going to use to actually access the information in your Gmail account. So in order to create those credentials, we're going to click up here where it says credentials on the left side. Once you're in the credentials page, you're going to go ahead and click create credentials up here. You're going to click OAuth client ID. Then from here, you're going to select the application type. We're going to go ahead and select desktop application. And we can just leave that as it is. Now this is where you're going to get your client ID and your client secret. Just like your API keys, it's important that you keep these private, that you keep these secret. And we're going to go ahead and download this file to our desktop right here. So now that we've set up authentication as well as downloaded our credentials for it, we're going to go ahead and test it with a simple Python project just to verify that these credentials are working. So for this, we're just going to use Google Colab. I'll be linking this in the description, but it's going to be just these three simple lines of Python code that you can use. The first one is just to set up the simple Gmail library. Then we're just going to set up the file path for our credentials. And then I'll show you how to troubleshoot it in case you get this mistake. We're going to run this and it's going to give us an error because we haven't uploaded our client key yet. And this is going to be the error that you're going to get if you haven't added your client key file to it. As you can see here, it says file not found. Your client secret.json is non-existent. So again, it's looking for a file that you haven't uploaded yet. And the way you're going to upload it is you're just going to click this small folder icon here. You're going to click this file upload icon up here. You're just going to select that file that you just downloaded from the Google Cloud side with your client secret. You can click upload. And here, this is going to be the original file with the original file name. But we're going to go ahead and rename this. And you want to rename it client underscore secret dot j. So now, once you did that, let's go ahead and try running this line one more time. And once it runs, you're going to get this link to verify authentication. So in this page, it's going to ask you to sign in. 
This is where you sign in with the email that you selected for your test user account. And again, this is where you get the message that you've been given access to an app that's currently being tested. So just click continue. Again, just select that you trust this app. And here, depending on how you're doing this, you might get this authorization code. So let's just go ahead and copy this. We're going to paste it back onto our application file on Colab. So copy paste and just press enter. And here you have it. Authentication successful. Again, this was just to test out that you enabled the Gmail API properly on your Google Cloud platform. And with this, we were able to verify that our Query AI project in the future will be able to connect to Google services. This step is going to be crucial to other steps in the project later on. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you had trouble with any of these steps. And also, I just want to thank you guys that have set up one on one calls with me, whether it's to ask questions about AI or maybe you need a little bit of help with the setup. I'm more than happy to take some time out of my day to join you and help you out as much as I can. Happy to answer any questions. And again, I'm always happy to hear feedback about what has helped you or what I could improve a little bit on for my videos. At the end of the day, it's my belief that everybody should learn about AI, regardless of their programming, technical or whatever background they have in any industry. I think that the more I improve my content, the more people I'll be able to help. And I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.